Class third, subject science, majoring things. This lesson we have to see here. I know that we have seen on the uh, online lecture. Here, first activity you have given that here. Identify the following and write their names in the given blanks. Use the help box first. Identify it. What is that? It is a scale. So you should write the scale. Second, thermometer. And third, spring balance. Fourth one, clock. In this way, you have to complete your activity. Next, we need to make the money many things in our daily life. We measure distance from one place to another, length of the cloth, weight of person, time of or time and temperature. We also measure various amount of liquids like milk, oil and water. We purchase vegetables and fruits of certain weight. A tailor also takes measurement for stitching our school uniform. All these activities shows that measurement is an essential part of our life. See, by that those examples we can understood. You should take the many examples from the morning to the night. You think that if measurement is not there, then what will happen? Just only think and by that you will understand. Yeah, measurement is an essential part of our life. See, if you are going towards the uh, tailor and you are saying that uh, I want the clothes, then how he can give without a measurement? He has to take a measurement. Next, so here is example. If you will go to the shopkeeper and ask something to sugar, then how you, he can give? You should precise the measurement. In this way, many examples you have to take. See, long ago people used to measure the length with the help of uh, their body parts. However, the length of these body parts is different for the different people. For example, the people of your sorry length of your hand span is a different from your mother's hand span. Hand span, foot span, cubit, and pace are the non-standard units for measuring length. Because those uh, that time people does not have any instruments and any measurement of the standardized units, so that's why they are using those these things. Let's see which things are there to measure the length. Here, first one is that hand span. Hand span means from your tip of the thumb and tip of the little finger. What is the distance? Is called as hand span. This is called as hand span. So hand span is different uh, for the different persons. Next, here is the foot span from the uh, your. Uh, 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 Toes means uh, toes, thumb to foot thumb. That is all the uh, measurement here shown that in the arrow that is called as foot span. Cubit. Cubit, it is the measurement from elbow to the tip of your middle finger is called as cubit. It is called as cubit. It is also very to the people, to people because everyone does not have a same size and uh, same hands. Uh, here is the pace from the pace means food uh, uh, distance between two foods okay it is called as pace so these are the non standardized units it, it these are not a uh, useful so now we are using the standard units of the length uh, that is uh, meter one meter can be divided into the hundred equal parts each part is the called as centimeter each centimeter can be further divided into the equal 10 equal parts each uh, each part is called as millimeter small lengths are measured in the centimeter so these are the standard units so if you will take uh, uh, in the japan and you will take this measurement in the india then both are the same because they are having some standardization okay so it is not very it is the same everywhere so which units are the standard units meter centimeter and millimeter okay long length you should use uh, for that 
kilometer also okay meter meter having the hundred if we meter divide into the hundred parts then one part is called as centimeter and centimeter further divide into the ten equal parts one part from that it is called as millimeter which is a very very small unit okay your scale you with the help of your scale you can uh, measure the centimeter units uh, with the help of your scale okay so let's see which are the instruments we are using to measure the lines your meter rod meter rod measuring tape and scale or ruler are used to measure the length we use ruler to draw a line of a specific length measuring tape is used by the tailors to take measurement for stitching clothes long distances are measured in kilometers one kilometer is equal to one thousand meter so here if we uh, one kilometer divided into the equal hundred one thousand meters then each part will be a uh, meter okay here is a meter tape next picture is it is yes it is scale from your compass box with the help of this we can use uh, measure the centimeters now we'll see the mass what is a mass first of all definition mass tells us how heavy or light an object is mass of small object is measured in gram mass of large objects measured in kilogram we use different kinds of the balances or weighing machines to measure mass our daily food items like vegetables pulses and the cereals are measured in the gram or kilogram so here is the important thing definition mass mass tells us how heavy or light an object is so if we will think our weight or vegetables weight or anything it having their mass mass is the quantity that tells us how heavy and light an object is okay here is a weighing machine with the help of this you can weigh your own then here is a physical balance whenever you are going to the shop then you will see it is this is the spring balance this one is the digital balance nowadays we can see everywhere this digital balance okay next thing here is a activity you have to find out and write down your weight what is your weight that you have to write second thing weight of the soap see at your home there are the soaps take one and write down the weight and next thing that is the weight of the chocolate bar you okay check on the wrapper and write down capacity what is the capacity that we'll see here capacity is the quantity of a liquid which a vessel can hold milk oil petrol or kerosene are measured in liter or milliliter means it is related to the liquid only any vessel you will see that and in that if you will pour the liquid means you will take the water you will take the milk you will take anything fossil fuels are there you will add in it then what is the capacity of that vessel uh, what uh, that vessel how much has uh, hold those uh, that liquid is called as capacity large amount of liquid is measured in the liter and the kiloliter okay and while small uh, measurement in the milliliter and you are having the sign c later you will write the capital l kiloliter you should write the kl and uh, milliliter you should uh, write the ml in this way you have to write down the units so these are the units of the measuring capacity this is all about the capacity now we'll see the instruments of the capacity with the help of these instruments I mean some vessels are there with the help of that you can measure the things oh, sorry liquid 
next thing what is this this picture is the it having first measuring cylinder then measuring jug is there and measuring beaker is there these all things are present in our lab okay next remember 1 kiloliter is equal to 1000 liter and 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter you have to keep in mind those things now next thing that is time which is very much important what is the time and what are the units that we have to see unit for measuring time is seconds uh, time is also measured in minutes and hours also we use a watch or a clock to measure a time yes there are the different types of the clocks wall clocks are there wrist clock is uh, wrist watch is there digital clock is there a clock or watch has a three hands the short reads the hours it is called as hours hand the long hand reads the minutes so it is called as minute hand and there is a one more there is a thin hand is called as second hand which reads the seconds only okay now we'll see the temperature what is the temperature let's see temperature is the measure of the hotness and coldness of a body the unit of temperature is degree centigrade or degree fahrenheit temperature is measured with the help of thermometer doctors use clinical thermometer to measure our body temperature okay so this is all about the temperature temperature means the uh, it is the uh, measurement of hotness and coldness of a body okay we'll see the clinical temper uh, thermometer which is uh, at your home also it is the clinical thermometer with the help of this doctor can measure your body temperature and normal body temperature is 98.6 degree fahrenheit remember a normal temperature body temperature is the 98.6 degree fahrenheit okay